and you just keep showing it to them until they eventually get it. Okay, well, anyways, that big invention is deep learning. That's the foundation of artificial intelligence. A piece of software that learns from examples. That's basically we machine learning, a machine that learns. Uh, and so, so one of the, the big first applications was image recognition. And one of the most important image recognition applications is radiology. Mm. And so, so uh, uh, he predicted uh, about five years ago that in five years' time, the world won't need any radiologists because AI would have swept the whole field. Well, it turns out AI has swept the whole field. That is completely true. Today, just about every radiologist is using AI in some way. And what's ironic, though, what's, what's interesting is that the number of radiologists has actually grown. And so the question is why? That's kind of interesting, right? It is. And so the prediction was, in fact, that 30 million radiologists will be wiped out. But as it turns out, we needed more. And the reason for that <clears throat> is because the purpose of a radiologist is to diagnose disease, not to study the image. The, the image studying is simply a task to, in service of diagnosing the disease. And so now, the fact that you could study the images more quickly and more precisely without ever making a mistake and never gets tired, you could study more images, you could study it in 3D form instead of 2D because, you know, the AI doesn't care whether it studies images in 3D or 2D. You could study it in 4D. And so the now you could study images in a way that radiologists radiologists can't easily do, and you can study a lot more of it. And so the number of tests that people are able to do increases. And because they're able to serve more patients, the hospital does better. They have more clients, more patients. As a result, they have better economics. When they have better economics, they hire more radiologists because their purpose is not to study the images. Their purpose is to diagnose disease. And so the question is, that what I'm leading up to is, Ultimately, what is the purpose? What is the purpose of the lawyer? And has the purpose changed? What is the purpose? You know, one of the examples that I gave is, is um, that I would give is, for example, uh, if my car became self-driving, will all chauffeurs be out of jobs? 